Today on Real Life, it's Father's Day weekend and Paul Bixler remembers and honors his father, Russ. The music of Jaron Davis and Kindred Souls. The ministry of Signs and Wonders. Pastor Gary Mitrick teaches from the Word of God. And we pray for your breakthrough today on Real Life. This is real life. God loves you. Jesus died for you. The Holy Spirit, He empowers you. And the Bible is your guide to abundant life. I'm Don Black with our founder, Norma Bixler, Arlene Williams, Pastor Gary Mitchell. It's the regular crowd. It's the regular crowd. And we're, we're here for a very special Signs and Wonders program on this Father's Day weekend. Yeah, what a special weekend as we honor dads. And most of all, we all have a wonderful Heavenly, Heavenly Father. Father. Amen. And that's who we want to honor today. Amen. Amen. Well, sometimes we forget that. You know, when we're going through the, the holiday of Father's Day, we, don't, we forget that God is our Heavenly Father. Yeah. And it's nice to honor Him. Celebrate Him, sure. Say something special to Him about being a good father. That's a good thing. That's a good thing but to do. But, you know, there are people that don't have him for a father because they have not made a commitment. That's, that, that's sad but true. And so it, this might be a good time mm -hmm. for those people that might be watching to make that decision. Mm -hmm. If you don't know your, uh, our, our Heavenly Father as your father, as your loving, caring, providing father, then today's program, you're going you're gonna to see him from a whole different perspective. I want to encourage you to stay tuned. Watch and listen. Put up your feelers so that you can experience the Holy Spirit's Amen. leading in your life. Because here, this is for sure. God loves, yes, loves he you. Yes, he, he loves does. them. And he's, he wants to be in relationship with everybody. It's true. But it's not, everybody doesn't understand that. It's not a special clique or a club. It's God so loved the world <laughs> that he gave his only begotten Amen. son. And that's what we're here to celebrate. Amen. And you know, Don, I am still flying high from our live Signs and Wonders weekend that we had. And it was, I tell you, it just was one, what a wonderful, wonderful time of ministry. It was. Precious. Arlene, we, uh, we watched the Lord move. It was like two different ministries going on at the same time. Mm -hmm. There was with you guys in the prayer room <laughs> and then with us down here in the studio audience it was powerful it was powerful the phones were that the phones never stopped they just kept buzzing and ringing never. and buzzing yeah Not for one second <laughs> and, and, and norm and i are sitting close and we're we're trying to talk above all that roar in there but we loved yeah. it we're not complaining oh, no. and we just we just sensed the presence of god in a powerful way there and we knew he was doing some things here in the studio also but we got many many phone calls oh, yeah. between the live program and the rear of it um, close to, do you remember? Well, yeah, Eight or nine hundred. Yeah, we were there? pushing towards a thousand telephone calls wow. of people who have called for ministry, just Praise at God. the nine hundred plus number. And aren't you glad that God is limitless? That He doesn't say, okay, the first eight hundred, they'll get their healing or they'll get their touch. <laughs> you know, He's the limitless God. Doesn't matter how many people come to Him. And I'm sure that there's many that didn't call that day, and you were standing on a word that was yeah. given or something that you were just believing, reaching out by faith and believing God. You know, we'd like to hear from you. We'd like to hear from anybody that called on the phone or that was here in the studio, and they know that God did something for them. You know, it's best to come back and tell it, isn't it, Pastor? Yeah, it is. And, and we, we have, we've been getting some praise reports. Yeah. I mean, there were people saved that day, yes. baptized in the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Number of people were healed and right. delivered and touched in their bodies. I mean, that, that is the kingdom of God in action. In action. Amen. Amen. Well, you know, uh, Arlene, it's funny you said that because Susan called in with a praise report. Praise the Lord. And she was watching the program. There was a word of knowledge on the, pro, on the Saturday program, on the Pentecost program, about a right shoulder. Mm -hmm. I don't remember who had that word, but... Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Yeah, she, right. What was really, she had it. She had, yeah. <laughs> she had the problem, <laughs> because yeah. Because it was her, 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 her shoulder, word from yeah. God, and her right shoulder was touched, and that the pain now is all gone, praise and she's standing God. in that Thank healing. So praise the Lord Amen. for Susan. Thank you, Susan, for calling and telling us about what God did in your life. And just like Arlene said, if he's touched you in a way, 
that you want to share that testimony with other people, call us and tell us. We can write us. You don't have to call if, you're in, if you don't want to call. You can write us and send us your, your testimony and what God has done in your life, especially on, that, on, on the Pentecost program. Because we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that seals in what God's done for you when you begin to testify. Do you know what the Lord did for me? Tell your neighbors, tell your friends. Tell us, because we want to rejoice with you. And that also helps other people to that's, reach out by faith. That's and what they believe. That's, you know, when, when somebody's watching and it's something new and they think, well, I don't no, know if that's, I, that, I don't yeah, know if that, yeah. and then somebody calls in with the very same thing this person has and, and they're healed and we're rejoicing Amen. and we're having a good time because we just Amen. like to see yes. that happen. Well, then, well, then maybe it would happen, it happen to, to me. me. So why it, it? Gives them, it gives them faith to believe. That's right. Faith is contagious. Amen, it yes, sure it is. is. It is. Good. God moves us in takes us and he takes us from one degree of hope to another degree of hope. What, what I liked on Saturday night is when you feel the spirit kick in, take over. Mm -hmm. I know, Pastor, I, I, in your teaching, when you just know that it's God teaching through you, yep. speaking through you, and when you, you lay hands on somebody or you pray for somebody on the phone, and then you know what you're saying or what you're doing, it's not really originating in you, it's originating right. in the spirit. That's that anointing of God. Right. When that f comes in, mm -hmm. there's nothing like that. Well, and you know, what helps that to come in is by hearing the word, which Pastor shared so beautifully mm -hmm. and so clear and so plain. Anybody could understand what he was talking about, salvation and healing for the body. And when that happens, then it's like, oh my, you know, oh, that, that, that means me. I, that can happen to me. And that causes your faith to rise. So all these elements were here. Yeah. And boy, if you weren't here, you missed it. And we <laughs> hope that you won't miss the next time we do that. Because Norma said, when I remember at the close, Dawn said, well, what do you think, Norma? And Norma said, well, I think we ought to do it again. <laughs> and I agree. I think that's great. Amen. Well, what we're going to do it today. That's a little right. bit different. That's not right. a live studio audience, not laying on of hands, but believing God and trusting Him for your prayer requests and your prayer yes. needs. Because God's no different Saturday night than He is on <laughs> Friday night or Saturday yeah. night this that's week right. or that's Sunday right. night. He's the same God He's the same. He loves you the same amount. He's provided for you the same. What I, I just imagined on Saturday, I guess we can leave that topic in just a second, but I, I watched it back. It's hard to quit talking about it. Yeah, because it's exciting. You know, I, I, when, I, when I watched it back, you know, it was shot in a different kind of way. It felt like we were the, the, the person at home was right in the middle of a whirlwind. <laughs> yeah. well, you know, it was there and over here and over here. Yeah. And something was just, you know, somebody was praying here, somebody was praying over here, somebody, somebody was walking here. I mean, it was just, it, I don't think there's been. Exciting. It was exciting, but I don't know that there's a whole lot on Christian TV like, like that. that. It just was so. different, you know. And it was I, wonderful. I watched it, and I know we had a little bit of this and that, so, you know, all these can get better, okay. but, but just to see that made me excited, and I hope that you watched it. It's going to be on our website. If it's not already there now, you can watch it in an archive version, so you can come and watch it. And the other thing about the anointing of God, Pastor, that I've learned is that it, it rests on, the, on, on, on a work. God's anointing on Saturday night wasn't pulled back off of Saturday night when, when the program went off no, the no, air. No, no, no. Now it's recorded, and when you watch it, it's right there it, again. It's still there, Norma. You do? Yeah. And, Hallelujah. And God still <laughs> touches it. That's the miracle. Well, that's really what the word is. It's a written document, but it's not just a Bible, a book, pages and ink and leather. It's a, anointed, mm -hmm. alive. That, that amazes me. It yep. does. It ma amazes me too. Well, let's go to the scripture. Isaiah 11, verse 2. The, the spirit of the Lord will rest on him. The spirit of wisdom and understanding. The spirit of counsel and strength. The spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. That's a, a, a beautiful prophetic statement about what, would be, what Jesus would be like. And that's who Jesus is. And that's who we want to be. We walk in the power of the Spirit to be like Christ, to be Christians, to be like Jesus. Our prayer partners are standing by. We're here to answer your call, to take your prayer requests, to stand in faith with you, Arlene. Amen. Not just to hear them, but to pray with you. Mm -hmm. And that's why, why we're here. And we're so thankful that they come and participate in this in this ministry. Amen. Praise the Lord for every Amen. one of our prayer partners. Amen. All 130 of them. Praise the Lord for them. And they need to call. A lot of times call now because 
when we get into the signs and wonders in just a few moments, the phones are always locked down and jammed, and we don't want you to miss your prayer request because we serve a God that Hallelujah. hears and mm. answers prayer. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Well, this is Father's Day weekend, and as we said, um, we want to celebrate fathers. We want to celebrate with our Heavenly Father. We sat down with Paul Bixler, who gives his father a very special tribute. My dad was always about get it done. You know, he was um, always had a can-do attitude, and um, he was a very honest man. And uh, he hit the ground running, whatever it was. He he was really involved in it. And if you weren't a part of what he was doing, then you had to catch up, you know. And I remember one day I was, there was a double header um, against the Atlanta Braves, and uh, I said to my dad, I said, "Boy, it'd be really good to go to the, it'd be nice to go to the pirate game." And he he said, "Well, we got to paint the front porch." I kept saying, "Well, you know, the game's going to start," and you know, and he never said anything. Um, I never heard anything and then we finished the porch and I figured we weren't going to the game or whatever and he said well you better go and change your clothes and I said why he goes we're going to the game so <laughs> so we went to doubleheader and it was a lot of fun with my dad my dad was not an emotional person I, he used to really hide his emotions it was more about what he did than what he said he was a leader by example I think my, my dad set a good example with loving my mother. I always felt like she, he respected her and really treated her very kind. And I, it was a good example for me as a, as a husband and a father, just the way he treated his wife. It was always with respect and he would always, you know, just treat her like she was the greatest thing, you know. When I was in high school, uh, we, we traveled a lot of places, and I dreamed of going somewhere, and just, I thought I could, I could live anywhere in the United States, because we had traveled a bunch. I just never really thought I'd be back in Pittsburgh. And, but when the Lord works in your heart, you know, it's, it's hard to um, say no, and I, I really felt like in my heart I was supposed to come back here. Initially, I didn't want to be a part of it, partly because my dad was, was here and, and ultimately was the boss. But I looked at him as, um, I just really respected my father. I, I thought he was a, a great man and I wanted to honor him. And I think he would, would have wanted me to be involved in the ministry in some sort of way, but he never pushed me to be like the head of the ministry or told me that someday you're going to be in charge. You know? He always respected what I, what I felt interested in and what I felt called to be. And, and um, so that was, that was a good relationship. One of my dad's interests was um, creation science. He started a TV program really with no budget. We just built a set, like, kind of like a scientific laboratory. And on this program, we deal with the creation evolution issue. When my father uh, passed away in 2000, we started an origins fund because we thought that would honor him more than flowers would. And um, people really uh, got on board with that. So in 2004, we started with a brand new set and uh, PowerPoint and tried to you know, make it a little more up-to-date um, graphically and that sort of thing. And um, so we started doing the Origins program again. And in the beginning, I wasn't really into it. But the more I learned about it, I could understand what my father was talking about all those years. And it's really grown on me. And I just, I really feel like it's something really unique that is really not on television that you really can't find. And we've gotten requests to get it translated into Chinese and Russian and Spanish and now just recently Greek, which is really interesting. I feel like my father would be happy that we're continuing doing the program. And I know a lot of people that respected my father that I, that I talked to 
um, really think it's, it's still something very important that we continue to do. I, I sensed my father's love in different ways than maybe a lot of people would. When I became a father and my parents would come over and see my kids and I would see the way my dad was so excited to, to hold one of my kids and just, I was thinking, wow, he really, he really does really have an emotional side to him that I'd never seen with us so much. But when he was holding my kids, you know, just very um, expressive of his love. And just um, now that I'm a grand grandfather, I, I understand that. Norma, he was a great father. He was a great man. And he really kind of was a father to a lot of us that were here in those early days when 34, 35 years ago. But there's one thing about Russ that stands out in my heart. He was so committed to the gospel. Nobody could ever shake him or his faith in God. Right. He would stand like that reed in the wind and everybody else is blowing around with new wind of doctrine. But Russ was just straight, what's the word? He always had that Bible with him, didn't he? Right. Many times I sat at that desk that was on there as we would get ready for the program, you know, and, and um, I say now, and many times he shared things then, Pastor, you know, and I'd think, really, Russ, you really think so? And, and you know what, the older I get, the smarter Russ gets because, <laughs> because you know, I, I figure, you know, he was right. He really was right, but he touched a lot of lives and we are all richer for that. He was Amen. a great father and we celebrate him and we celebrate your family. We celebrate yeah. you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the Lord used him, you know, with the charismatic conference. Oh my. I mean, how many people got baptized in the Holy Spirit? Absolutely. Dawn, thousands and thousands and thousands of people. All denominations too, you know, Pastor. I mean, it was, it was a tremendous, it was a sovereign mm -hmm. move in time, yeah, right. but, but he was really instrumental and that's what I've always appreciated about this ministry, that it's been full gospel from the very, very beginning. Very beginning, never changed. And then that's Russ right. was always real big on gathering pastors together. So he was always for unity. I mean, we went to the holiday house every month <laughs> and had a pastor's gathering that he hosted. Well, you know? the Lord told him to do that. And then he told him to do the charismatic conference. Nice. Then he told him, well... <laughs> Some other things. <laughs> Station. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, 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 and only eternity is going to reveal That's all right. the multitudes of lives that have been impacted Powerful. by That's that. That's exactly right. We don't know the value of our lives until we stand before our, 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 our That's king. That's true. That's true. And, we, and God builds the kingdom. So the work that you and Russ did continues. It's not over with, it continues. And so the results of that work continues right. and it will be added to your heavenly account until Jesus comes back. <laughs> so it's a, super, yeah. it's a super thing. That's what we talk about investing into the kingdom. It's, a, it's the best, best investment return. you can ever make yeah. because it pays off in this world yeah. and in the one to come. That's right. So I, I think about Russell and I, I had the opportunity just to shake his hand one time, but he's in the presence of Jesus with Paul and a lot of other people and they're just celebrating and, they, they and but they're not sitting around whittling <laughs> you know, no, they're not. because they're preparing for the next yes. age the age when we come back onto this earth for a thousand yeah. years and rule and reign with Christ here and he'll be part of that and his position there is a, is in subject to what his obedience was here so I know God's going to use him mightily yeah, right. in this yeah, next right. thousand along with you and prayerfully with all of us. Yeah, and that's why God is using Cornerstone to hasten the day. Hasten the day. We yeah. want to see the Lord come back as quickly mm. as possible. Well, and that's a good, you, you give me a good segue. If you're one of our partners, I want you to watch in the mail for our hasten the day brochure and campaign. What it is, is a, uh, uh, it lays out the ministry plan for Cornerstone over the next 12 months on how we want to reach out to new people, how we want to expand the base of the programming so we have more programming, mm -hmm. be able to bring Origins back into a place and, and, and update it. We're working on that right now. And, and other programs that will touch lives and see the Holy Spirit's anointing on those lives. Amen. And then also 
to be able to let us grow the number of homes that can watch the programming. Our goal is to double the number of homes that can watch the program. So hasten the day is all about that. Watch for it in your mail. When you get it in, 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 in the mail, open it up, read it, ask the Lord what he wants you to do to be part of this, and pray for us. Amen. Pray for us. Because that's what, if you love the kind of programming that we're producing, if you love the, the Saturday night Pentecostal, pro, the Pentecost program, if you want to see the Spirit of God on television doing these kinds of things, we're the, we're the network that you want to be part, partners with. Well, in just a few minutes, speaking of that, Pastor Gary is going to teach us from God's Word, especially on this Father's Day weekend. But if you haven't yet, be sure that you call us. As Gary said, get, get, get your prayer requests in because after he teaches, we're going to pray for you. We're going to anoint with oil and pray for you on our Signs and Wonders ministry time. Call the number on the screen right now. We have a special song. Let's open it up with a special song from one of our favorite, Jaron Davis, who wants to tell us a story about his children and then sing Unfinished Song. All right. As a songwriter, I get ideas from a lot of places. Sometimes a phrase in a book, a bumper sticker, hearing somebody say something in a message or a sermon or a speech. Different things can trigger ideas. A lot of my ideas, however, come from within my own family. I jokingly say sometimes that we have a daughter who's just an angel and a son who's just a boy. My wife gets a little upset sometimes when I say that, but I think you know what I mean, that there's so much diversity when you have both in your house, and a lot of times the lessons I learn from them are pretty important and pretty powerful. I have a song that I call the Unfinished Song, and it was born out of a situation that happened in my house. And here's a little bit of how it went. I found her crying in the middle of her room. Tears pouring down her little face. She looked at me when I opened the door. Then hung her head in sad disgrace she said i didn't mean to do it it was done before i knew it and i'll give you my allowance for 10 years but the vase that she had broken was the last thing on her mind as my daughter turned and said to me through tears she said I just need to know that you still love me I just need to know you still love me oh I just need to know that you still love me daddy that that's all I need, that's all I need to know. Well, I got that much done and I called my wife and my son and my daughter into the music room where I write and I sang it for them. When I got done with what I just sang for you, my wife was crying, my daughter was crying, my son was not. He just stood at the end of the piano, put one hand on his hip and said, so what are you going to write about me? So I'm working on a verse about my son. Wow, so much material to pick from. And then I thought, as a Christian songwriter, I would wrap it all up with the last verse that talks about me and my life and some of the choices I make and how sometimes when I've made wrong choices in the rubble and ruin of those bad decisions, I call out to my heavenly Father and say, I just need to know that you still love me. And it seemed like as I started to go down that road, I felt the voice of the Lord just kind of speak to my heart and say, that's not the way to do it. I was like, excuse me? You're telling me how to write a song? You do know I wrote Holy Ground, right? 
But I started to consider and ponder as God dropped these ideas into my heart that maybe in a world filled with smartphones, fax machines, internet, people running 100 miles an hour in a hundred different directions, that maybe, just maybe, if we would take a moment and press pause on our life, we would hear a still small voice from heaven saying to us, I just need to know that you still love me. I just need to know you still love me. Oh, I just need to know that you still love me. Child, that's all I need. That's all. Coming up on Real Life, it's our special weekly Signs and Wonders segment. Pastor Gary Mitrick will bring a special message from God's Word, and the team will pray for the miracle you've been waiting for. That's next on Real Life. I'm Don Black, president of the Cornerstone Network, and I would like to talk with you about the 60 most important words you could ever say. You see, we only have one life, and it's a gift from God. And with it comes the freedom to choose what to do with it. God is perfect, and His actions are always motivated by love. If we were able to fully keep His word, then we would be able to do that too, but we can't. But there is good news. God loves you so much that He sent His Son Jesus to die as a cure for your sins. How can you apply this cure in your life? The answer is very simple. You must turn from sin and accept Him. The Bible promises that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God has raised Him from the dead, you'll be saved. We need Jesus, not only to have a good life now, but as a Savior to escape an everlasting hell. I've got to tell you the truth. Yes, there is a hell. And the Word teaches it is appointed for men once to die and after that the judgment. Our life is short and our actions in this life will be judged by God. But friend, no matter what your past, He will forgive. If your heart's stirring right now inside of you, that's Him. Don't let this moment pass you by. Pray with me, won't you? Dear Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come into my heart and into my life. I want to trust you and follow you as the Lord of my life. In the name of Jesus, amen. Friends, you've just prayed the most important 60 words of your life. Call the number on the screen or go to our website to get a free copy of my book. It will help you take the next steps. And know this, that we love you and we're here for you 24 hours a day. And I want to welcome you to the family.
We're Praise so God. excited about what God's doing. You know that uh, a little uh, video you just saw, I recorded that, I don't know, three, four months ago, under the leading of the Holy Spirit to create that spot, that little piece, and run it around on different times during the day. And I'm so excited to report to you that people are watching that and the Holy Spirit's touched people's Praise lives. God. and. They're coming, people coming to know the Lord by that. Praise That's what we were talking about a little bit ago about how God's anointing can be on a video piece Amen. and touches lives. And that's what we're here today for, to create some more of that kind of opportunity, both live and on <clears throat> video. So no matter when you watch this, God's touches on it and he wants to do something very special in your lives. And the, the, these, these, these things happen because of the preaching and teaching of the word. Amen. And we're so blessed that Pastor Gary Mitrick from Greater Works Outreaches, our partner in ministry here. Been here for many, many years. Pastor, I don't want to get you off, but I saw pictures of you from years ago. What, and, uh, someday I'm going to bring them on the air, oh, and, unless nice. you take me to lunch. Uh, <laughs> Mike, we might could work that out. But so thankful for him, for all that he does, and yes. all that he Amen. has sacrificed to be part of this ministry and Amen. the leadership that he's provided. And I'm looking forward to today's word. I know he's going to bring us a word about fathers. Hallelujah. And let's, I have my ears on to hear. I hope you do too. Pastor, we're ready to hear. Amen. Jesus. Well, in, in Luke chapter 15, there is a very familiar story to a lot of us. And we know it as the story of the prodigal son. But actually... You know, the word prodigal simply is a word for lavish because the son, he, he just did some really lavish and crazy things he when he left his father. But I like to call it the story of a lavish father oh. mm -hmm. because I believe if there's one thing, please get this, if there's one thing that you need to know today, Jesus. it's that your heavenly father loves you. Yes, he does. Right. He loves you. He loves you oh, and he has a plan for your life that is good to give you a future that is full of hope. So in Luke 15, verse 11, it says, And he said, A certain man had two sons, and the younger of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falls to me. So he divided to them his livelihood. Now you got to remember that this son would have not gotten his inheritance until his father died. So in the son's eyes, what he was basically saying is, Father, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. Mm. You're, you, you don't even exist anymore. Wow. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together, journeyed to a far country, and there he wasted his possessions with prodigal living. But when he had spent all, there arose a severe famine in that land, and he began to be in want. Then he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country, and he sent him into the fields to feed the swine. And he would gladly have filled his stomach with the pods that the swine ate, and no one gave him anything. And I love verse 17. This is such a key. But when he came to himself, That's right. something awakened within him. And he said, how many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and, and to spare? And I perish with hunger. Mm -hmm. I will arise and go to my father. And then it says, he arose in verse 20 and he came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, his father saw him and he had compassion and he ran and he fell on his neck and he kissed him. Hallelujah. And they had a great reunion. Yes. Hallelujah. And I think this is such, this is such a, 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 a story that, that I think a lot of people need to hear and understand about your heavenly father. I like to say all the time, God is not mad at you. He's mad about Hallelujah. you. Yes, he is. You know, so often I think of this son that when he, 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 well, he left his father and he kind of backslid and went out into the world, I think he felt so unworthy. 
And I think there are so many people that feel like God doesn't love me because of all the mistakes I've made, all the sins I've committed, all the unworthy things that I've done. Maybe you like this, son. Maybe there was a time in your life that you was in your pride and arrogance said, hey, God, you don't even exist. I don't even believe you're alive. And now God's changed your heart, but you're struggling with the Father's love. We're here today to pray for you. Hallelujah. And our prayer is that you would have a revelation of the Heavenly Father's love for you. Mm -hmm. I can't think of a better time than on Father's Weekend. Father's Weekend. For you to know your Heavenly Father loves you. Amen. Now so often we get an image of our Heavenly Father by our earthly dads. Mm -hmm. And are, you know, some people have had a great relationship with their earthly dad. Like I know you did. Your I dad did. was a pastor, you know, but there's a lot of people that they didn't. That's right. There's a lot of people that maybe they grew up not knowing their dad. That's right. That they maybe they grew up and they, they, they didn't experience that unconditional love. But I'm here to tell you, no matter what <laughs> your relationship was with your earthly father, maybe it was good, maybe it wasn't. You have a heavenly Father Hallelujah. that loves you loves unconditionally. You. Yes, he does. There is nothing you can do that can make him love you any more than he already does. Mm -hmm. And there is nothing you can do to earn his love for you. You know, it says in Romans chapter 5 and verse 5, the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. And, you know, we just, we just want the Holy Spirit Hallelujah. to just, as you said earlier, Dawn, rest upon people today. I want God to wrap His, his arms. loving yeah. arms around you. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're watching this program and you live alone. Mm -hmm. I, there, there was a lady that was here at the Saturday night, at our last Saturday night program. And she came up for prayer and she said, I have been tormented with loneliness for 20 years. Oh my God. And I think, my, you no. need a revelation yes. of the love of God. That's right. You Amen. need to know God Absolutely. loves you. And no matter. You. And he's with you. That's that, right. That she understands that. I'm sorry for interrupting you, but no. that she understands that he's with her. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that she's not alone. We can never be alone. That's right. God's always with us. He is. But, you know, so, so, so often, I think... We, we liken the Holy Spirit to a feeling. Uh -huh. You know, if we feel, yeah. you know, right. Right. His presence, then we think He's with us. Mm -hmm. And then when we don't no, feel true. Him, mm -hmm. then we think He's left us. That's right. He said, I will never leave you Hallelujah. nor forsake Amen. you. So, so today, if you are struggling with the love of God, Would you call the prayer line, 888-665-4483? We want to pray for you on this Jesus. Father weekend that you would experience the Father's love. Amen. You know, I think of the disciples. They were watching Jesus pray. Mm -hmm. And they said, Jesus, would you teach us how to pray? Mm -hmm. And he begins by saying, pray this way, mm -hmm. our Father. Mm -hmm. Our yes, he Father. Mm -hmm. He's our Daddy. Papa He's Daddy. our Abba. Mm -hmm. Amen. Abba God, Papa Hallelujah. God, and he loves you so much. Hallelujah. He's not mad at you. He loves you. He loves you, and he has a plan for your life that is good mm -hmm. to give you a future that's full of hope. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Dawn, I know this is a signs and wonders. We're praying for physical healings. We're praying for emotional healings. We're praying for relational healings. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, I think one of the greatest healings we could know certainly is to know Jesus as our Savior, as you shared earlier, but also just to, to get a healing mm -hmm. in our relationship mm -hmm. with our heavenly daddy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know. Well, the, the, the story says, and he came to himself. Yes, that's it. When he came to himself. Sometimes we allow too many circumstances to get very bleak before we actually take inventory. That's true. You know, we take inventory. I think that's another way of saying he came to himself. Yep. He looked around and he said, well, wait a minute. I'm, un I'm under the service of a guy that doesn't care about me. I'm le I'm, I can't even eat the pig slop. <laughs> That's right. My dad's servants, they get good food. 
well, it's time for me to go home. It's time for you to come home. That's right. You don't even Amen. get to, to eat the pig slop in That's life. Right. God doesn't want that for you. He wants you to have the blessing of his relationship. Amen. He wants to hug you. I love that too. He came, he saw him from afar off. Yeah. So that tells me a couple of things, that the father was watching. Well, That's right. Him, yeah. The father was watching for him. Mm. So how long had he been gone? He was gone for a while. Oh, Amen. Right. That, that son hadn't just left the next day. He had been gone a while, but the father was watching nights. for him because the father's love was so strong. He was looking to the distance to watch for him to come back. So the father knew that the son was going to come back. He knew that. And your father knows that you're coming back too. And he's watching for you. He's waiting for you. And as soon as the son got within sight, as soon as he was there, he made the move to him. That's right. He, the father, came all the way out and met him. You know, you take one step toward God, Amen. he'll take 99 toward right. you. That's and he doesn't true. just come to say, hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> you know, yeah. too late. You blew, you blew it. No, he said, it says, the word says he hugged him. He kissed him. He gave him a ring. You know, that's symbolic of giving him back into his authority. So God was ready to hug you, kiss you, and get you back into the authority place that God has for you. That's a, that's a beautiful promise. Yes, it is. And call us and say, I want to stand. I want to turn and come away from the pig slop, and I want to come back to my father. 888-665-4483, and he will meet you just as you turn. You don't have to get up to the door and beat on it. He'll meet you as we turn. So turn, turn towards the Lord. And Don, I would hope that there are people who are not going to wait till there's, he's the last, he's the last hope. You know, he wants to come right now where you are. Don't say, well, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try counseling. I'm going to try that. You know, and I'm going to try this. And maybe this guy is going to love me. Speaking from a woman. Maybe this guy is going to love me and won't do on me what the other guy did because my self-worth is gone. Why not try Christ first? And then when you have those decisions to make, they will be godly decisions and they will your, be your heart's desire Hallelujah. and his desire for you. Hallelujah. You have to go through That's all right. that. Make him first now. Now is the accepted time. Don't wait. Don't wait. Hallelujah. Do it now. Hallelujah. That's the best advice we can tell you today, Hallelujah. Pastor. It is. Well, people are calling. Amen. The, Amen. the, the lines are, are full. People are calling. Teresa just called in. God bless you, Teresa. Hallelujah. From, from Cranberry. And she just called to rededicate her life to Jesus. Praise God. Oh, wow. Teresa, hallelujah. God. What you did is you just turned. God. You just turned to come back to the Father. Leave the slop. Yes. You just turned to come back to the Father. He's going to meet you. He is meeting you right now. We just pray for our anointing of God to be upon mm -hmm. Teresa. Holy Spirit, fill her fresh. Impression Give her you. a renewed filling of your spirit, Father God. Give her a new vision. <laughs> Send her to a good church. Let her get into her word. Your word in her life, we ask in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Don, so, there's a lot of people calling for prayer for physical healing in yes. their bodies as well. Sophia, she, she needs a touch. Here's a, Johnny has a, a mass and is believing for physical healing from that. Here is uh, another lady that's called and she needs healing in her ankle and is her blood pressure Jesus. is elevated and needs a touch from the Lord. But you know what? God is, he's, he's able, isn't he? Yes. Oh, he's, he's able. He's able. Uh, here's uh, Virginia and she's telling of an experience she had where God healed her, but now she needs another healing. And uh, she's have has a problem with, with uh, seizures. And so we, we know God can help that. And then here's uh, Robin, and she wants guidance and favor from God. Amen. Amen. Really? I have, um, here's a Robin too, and she said, this is kind of interesting because she's asking for physical healing, but she said, I'm a babysitter, and Avery, who's 14 months old, she takes care of this child, had a fever. And she says, I'm his sitter, and during the last telethon, I believe that the Lord would touch him, and he did. Hallelujah. <laughs> and she says, now I sing songs about Jesus to that baby. Hallelujah. And then here's a woman, and I like what she says. Her name's Elaine. She needs wisdom, discernment, understanding, and she's God's provision. And she said, I want to take the dis out of disability and end up with an ability in Christ. Word, word, I love word, that. I love that. Well, let, me, let, me, let me give you a, just a little bit of instruction. If you're part of Norma's 700 prayer team, mm -hmm. 
in this time, in this moment, we need you to be praying with us. So when you hear a prayer request, what, what we want you to do is pray for that person. And we, we, what we did on the, the, the Signs and Wonders program live, we crawled the names across the, uh, the screen. I think we ought to do that on this program so that while you're watching, you can be praying. Because we, if you're part of our prayer team, you're part of Norma's prayer team, we want you engaged. We want you to pray in engagement. And so just watch and pray. Get involved because this is, this is part of your ministry. You're, you're a partner with us. And this is fruit that God was going to put into your account. Amen. Hey, we have a testimony of healing. Uh, Gail called, and she has been suffering from shoulder pain. Couldn't move her shoulder for two years. Wow. She couldn't move her shoulder for two years. And then she uh, watched the program, and there was a word called out about healing on the shoulder. Boy, that shoulder word, <laughs> that connected. And we prayed for her, and now she's able to lift her arm Praise about her head you, and has no pain in her Praise arm God. at all. Hallelujah. Right, Hallelujah, Gail. God's Amen. touched you. Amen. Praise Lord, the Lord. Lord, touch some more shoulders yes. and touch some joints. Mm. Take pain from bodies mm. in Jesus the name, name of Jesus. There is a healer. Hallelujah. He's in the house today. Hallelujah. Your heavenly Father loves you. And he sent his son you, on Jesus. the cross to Thank die. You, Not only for sins are, but for Praise sicknesses as well. Hallelujah. Absolutely. Here's people need deliverance from generational curses. Uh, said that her husband's gone. And she said now the family needs to be restored. Someone else said... Um, they're going to be in some kind of a tournament, and they're asking for God's will con concerning that. You know, God cares about every little detail yes, in our he lives. Does. Amen. About Patty Go ahead. Too, yeah. Because Patty has, she's she's full of anxiety and fear, and she just feels, uh, she has a sinking feeling. Jesus. So I say, rise up. Rise up. Get up. Walk around. In Praise the, the Lord. Of Jesus. Hey, we just had two more people call in on a rededication Priscilla, Priscilla called she's from uh, here in Pennsylvania rededicating herself to, to Jesus praise God Priscilla and also Gail called uh, on a rededication she's from this area too from Butler area Thank hallelujah you, Jesus. We give you praise, for Gail and for Priscilla praise hallelujah. the Lord we just praise move towards the Lord. Jesus we're gonna send you material Thank we want you, you to have it we're serious about it we want you to get involved get connected and watch God do great things. He wants to. He's, he's wants to hug you. He wants to give you back that inheritance that and, you have. And Don, you know, I can't think of a better time than Father's yes. Weekend yes. to accept Hallelujah. Christ and come back to the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's Amen. join hands and pray. There's many people still Hallelujah. calling. The number's there on your screen. Eight 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 six six five four four eight three. Whether you need to know the Father's love, yes. whether you need to experience a healing yes. touch in your body. The anointing mm -hmm. of the Holy Hallelujah. Spirit Hallelujah. is Thank not you, only Jesus. here in this studio, you, but Psalm 107, verse 20. We send, send the, the word. word to heal and to yes. deliver Thank you, you yes. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So, Father, you, Father, we pray for a revelation of the Father's love today. Yes, God. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Wrap your arms around hurting Jesus. people, lonely people, yes, yes, Lord. Do people it, Lord. that are sick, those that are in the hospital, those that are in nursing homes, Jesus. those that are elderly today. Oh, Lord, those that feel forgotten, yes, Lord. those Jesus. that feel unloved, mm. Lord, we take authority over yes. that yes. unloving yes. spirit. Yes. We and we body. command all rejection, yes. all unworthiness yes. to God. go Jesus from name. people today, yes. for Jesus people name. to be healed and mm. delivered and yes, restored God. back, yes. reconciled Jesus. back to the Father. Yes, you know, Lord, that song that we sing, Oh, how he loves you and me. Oh, how he loves you and me. He gave his life. What more <laughs> could he give? Thank you for doing that. Your great love, the love, the powerful love of God Amen. that reaches everyone who reaches out to him. Yes. Thank you, Father, for your love. We celebrate you on this Father's Day. We celebrate you and your great love for us. In Jesus' precious, wonderful name. Hallelujah. And headaches are leaving. Yes, amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Jesus' Thank you, Lord. name. Jesus' Thank you, name. Thank you, Father. The Lord's Praise touching uh, some knees, some joints, mm. people that are battling arthritis and 
stiffness and mm. that TMJ in yes, the jaws. Yes. God is just loosening people Jesus. from joint pain and Jesus stiffness name. in Jesus' name. Praise your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Glory Hallelujah. to your name, Jesus. Somebody with a <clears throat> sciatica problem, and if you've got it, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. And so I just believe that the Lord's relieving you of that right Thank now. You, Lord. In Thank Jesus' you, Lord. name. Thank in you, Jesus' Lord. name. You, in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Receive. Thank yes. you, Jesus. Yes. Praise your name, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord. Someone's got a, like an ear infection in their ear. There's an irritation. It hurts. There may be even some matter that comes out. I just pray right now in the name of Jesus, be healed. Yes. Ear be healed in Jesus' name. Jesus. Receive it, Lord. Hallelujah, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Blessed be the There's somebody that you've, you've grown up in a divorced home, mm. and when your earthly father abandoned you, yes. Jesus. you thought your heavenly father abandoned that's you. That's right. And that's a lie. That is. Yes, it is. It's a lie. Your heavenly father has not abandoned you. Never will. Uh -uh. And I pray the Lord would heal you of that spirit of abandonment. Praise your name. Lord. And you would receive yes. the Father's love for you today. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The Father's Hallelujah. ready for you to turn. He's watching for you. Amen. He's looking for you. He wants you to turn to him. Turn away from the garbage. Turn away from all the mess. Turn away from all of the things that you thought were going to make you so happy and make you so fulfilled, but have ended up just costing you everything. And you can't go back in time, my friend. There's no way to go back in time and change it. So forget about it. Don't, don't think about it again. Turn to the Father and watch what he has for you. He loves you. You didn't disappoint God. Amen. You didn't disappoint him. He's not mad at you, as Pastor says. He loves you. And he wants you to turn to him. On this Father's Day weekend, as we celebrate the natural fathers, our, 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 our physical fathers, celebrate our Heavenly Father. Amen. Celebrate that love that he's poured out upon us, that unconditional grace that he's given us. He never, he never ever turns from us. We can turn from him but he always allows us to look back to him and move back to him. He wants to take you in his arms. He wants to reestablish you in a way that you've never been established. You're not too old. It's not too late. That's good. It's not too late. That's good. You haven't done too much bad. There's nothing that you could have done that does not, cannot be covered by the blood of Jesus. There's nothing. That's right. You know, There's Don, nothing. what that prodigal son thought was going to satisfy him did it. And so often people turn to things in the world or they mm -hmm. turn to, you know, money or a, a earthly pleasure. relationship or some earthly pleasure and it doesn't satisfy. No. Only, only the Heavenly Father can fill that void in their life. Amen. Amen. You were built, you were, you, let's, let me tell you this. You're a spirit that has a soul that lives in a body. Amen. Most of the time, we spend our lives trying to satisfy our bodies. Totally out of proportion. Spirit, soul, body. Now's the time to get into perspective. Feed your spirit, build up your soul, and start denying your flesh. Because God has something in you, in the spirit, that lasts forever. And that's what he wants us to do. We're so, we're so thankful for his spirit, Pastor. Let's, yeah. let's just, I just... I think we should lay hands on these, all these together, and all the ones that have been called in. Let's lay hands on them corporately, and let's release them to the Lord as we as we go as we go into this. Get ready for our song. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father, for everyone who's called in. Lord, I'm especially thankful for those who've called to accept you as your Savior, Amen. and Lord, have turned back to you, Father. I pray for the Holy Spirit to fill them in power, in might. Lord, that this is a time of change in their lives, Father God. And I thank you for every healing. I thank you for every deliverance, God. I thank you, Lord, for the supernatural work of your Holy Spirit. You are mighty, God. Amen. You are not 
in the shadows. You are full light. And Lord, we thank you, God. In the light, there is no darkness, Father. And I thank you for the light on this Father's Day weekend that will be shed in the hearts of your people, in the lives of your people, as we celebrate the fathers in our lives. We celebrate you, Father, our Heavenly Father, the great provider, the great lover of our souls. And we rest in your arms, God. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you for bringing the word. Yes. Ladies, always a pleasure. <laughs> thank you for being with us. I'm glad that uh, we can share this time. I'll watch on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays as we have our Signs and Wonders program. We're, gonna, we're going to close this program as we started it. And um, I would just say Happy Father's Day to you. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers that are watching, all the moms. Take special care of those fathers. <laughs> do something special for them. Surprise them. I know it's hard to do. It's hard to surprise the dads, but surprise them. And let's, let's go to Jaron Davis as he brings us the ministry of Kinder Souls in Springs of Living Water. Amen. <laughs> And in a moment 